The Amador High School football season has officially been canceled after racist, anti-Semitic and homophobic speech was found in a team group chat. The investigation into the Sutter Creek team has been completed, according to a letter sent out by the superintendent. Here's what the investigation found. Amador High School football field has been sitting empty since the end of September when the varsity football team chat first surfaced online. The completed investigation by a third party now cites four main reasons for canceling the season. Racist, anti-Semitic and homophobic speech, bullying, Title IX concerns, which is a federal civil rights law that prohibits discrimination on the basis of sex and education programs and athletics, and hazing. We spoke with parent Vanessa Castagna, who says one of her kids saw screenshots connected to the chat thread. If this is a racism motivated um, incident, then it, it would be appropriate to look into this a bit more. As far as the entire team, instead of individuals who contributed to this, that is definitely a challenging, a challenging issue. According to the investigation, many students admitted to the hateful language in the chat that included derogatory language and slurs. Investigators found a culture of bullying behavior exists among some individuals within the Amador High School varsity football program. Students we have spoken to say they felt like the team should be suspended if the action were done by all and not just one person. If they all did something wrong, then I'd say, yeah, sure, like get them suspended. But if it was just someone in the entire team uh, um, it's not really cool uh, to that person because like the entire team is like, hey, why'd you do that? Now we're all suspended. The investigation found Title IX concerns surfaced that not all students had the same access to the facilities and the conditioning program was not equitable. As for hazing, local law enforcement found there was none. The alleged incident occurred at a private birthday party. Three staff members were cleared of any wrongdoing.